Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we set up our custom navigation drawer content component. Now in this one we're going to be looking at how to show an alert when a user clicks the logout button. So the alert can be like a pop-up that asks for the user to confirm an action. So we have one that's built into React Native and it's actually native on every other device. So if we, if we implemented the, if we implement it here, it's going to be native and it will look differently on the different platforms. So here on press, I'm going to have on press to be something like handle. On press will be handle user logout. So handle user logout. Actually, it's going to be handle logout only. So here we can create it. So const handle logout. So it's going to be a function. Now, we're just going to show an alert. But first, we want to be to, if we click here, we want to close this drawer and show an alert. It can be awkward to show an alert when this is also open. So we can do that by doing navigation toggle drawer. So when you click, you see it goes away. Now, what we want to do is we want to call alert. So let's first import alert actually. So we need to import this from React Native. Don't care about React. We don't care about React Native gesture handle right now. So I'll cut it out. Then we want to import a lot. Okay, like that. Then down here, now we can say a lot. Then we want to call a lot. So when we call this, we can give it a title, a message, then the left, the buttons, and then the extra options. Now the title and the message, those are straightforward. So we can pass the title, let's say logout, and then let's pass the message. Are you sure you want to log out? Then we want to pass the buttons. So for the buttons, it's going to be a, an array, as you can uh, see, a lot button array. So let's put a comma and also pass those. Now the first one is always the cancel one. So the cancel, we need to pass the text. Let's say cancel. Then we can have on press. So by default, it's going to be handling the the canceling, but if we have something else we want to run after the user cancels, we can do that. If we wanted to have like a style, we could have it, but for now, this is enough. So I'm also going to have the one to confirm. So this can do like, okay. So now when a user comes and clicks, you see, we close and then we show this alert and the user can cancel, but when they click, okay, nothing is happening. So in the next video, I'm going to come in and we are going to now log out the user fully and we get at least uh, done with the authentication. So thanks guys for watching. If the video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.